Hello, and welcome to our podcast series, Supporting Family Resilience, Community Voices, Community Perspectives, a collaboration between two University of Minnesota centers that specialize in early childhood development. One, the Center for Early Education and Development, otherwise known as SEED, and ICI, the Institute on Community Integration. I'm Dr. Jennifer Hall Landy. I'm a licensed child psychologist and also a researcher at ICI. ICI is a University of Minnesota center. We sit within the Masonic Institute on the Developing Brain, and we're dedicated to addressing disability issues across the lifespan by conducting research, offering training, and sharing information. ICI is also a member of the Association of University Centers on Disabilities, better known as AUCD. Hi everyone, I'm Deb Ottman, SEED's Professional Development Coordinator in the Institute of Child Development, and as Jen said, also based here at the University of Minnesota. We at SEED conduct applied research. We offer professional development and evaluation in support of early childhood professionals and programming across sectors. And over the years, SEED has partnered with ICI in different aspects of work on early childhood. Thanks, Deb. Yes, a significant piece of our combined work includes creating professional development opportunities and training resources for professionals and other advocates working to make sure babies and young children are on track for healthy development. Our project, Learn the Science Act Early, is a national public health an outreach initiative funded by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. It aims to do the same for families as our podcast will do for professionals. Our goal is to raise families' awareness and knowledge of healthy early childhood development, encourage them to track their baby's developmental milestones, have them learn the signs and act early if there are concerns, and get the support they need when child development is off track. This series of podcasts is intended to support the helpers working with or on behalf of families of young children. That's right, Jen. And it's not news that for many of us, COVID has upped our stress levels and lowered our resilience. And when COVID's negative impact makes itself felt in families, both adults and children's resilience is put at risk. And so the goal of these podcasts is to offer various voices and perspectives from different community members that are also helping professionals, and in many cases, our parents themselves. Our hope is that the wisdom and the personal experience these professionals share may help other helpers to better walk alongside and support families in the face of COVID's lingering impact. Yes, so like Deb said, we really hope that these podcasts offer more digestible learning opportunities for professionals as you think about and work with young children and their families. And we know that you're busy too. We hope that you can catch an episode while taking a walk outside or working in your garden. These podcasts can also be used as learning tools for teams to discuss and use in their community and their work. And so practically, we hope that these podcasts can offer you nuggets of information and learning in a way that doesn't take away from other things in your busy day. That's right, Jen. And we have such a great lineup of podcasts that are a part of this Community Voices series. They include topics related to how children learn and develop resiliency through the relationship that they have with special adults in their lives, how adults can support their own well-being to bolster resiliency, and what this word really means to the different cultural communities whose homes are here in Minnesota. There's an episode I'm very excited about which specifically focuses on the partnership and collaboration between Help Me Grow and Learn the Signs Act Early. We'll discuss how this partnership offers families and professionals alike the resources and help they may need to make sure young children are screened, evaluated, and receive the services they need 
when development appears to be delayed or disabilities are identified. And in each of these podcasts, we bring in the thread of how we as adults can participate in promoting the healthy development of our littlest folks, no matter the role we play. Thanks, Deb. And yes, it's this last point that makes us happy to be collaborating on a project that contributes to both ICI and SEED's missions and our long-running early childhood partnership. We really look forward to hearing your feedback, questions, and ideas for future topics to add to this series. We hope you enjoy these podcasts, and thank you so much for listening. Enjoy. Enjoy.